Warning, I swear a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to A Legionary's Life. Now, what we see from this point onwards is completely new territory, right? I don't know anything about it. I've never seen it. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're doing. All I know is we're probably going to die. This is probably going to be the end of Form of the Fifth career. I'm going to attempt to keep these a little shorter purely because the puppies, you know, I don't have as much free time as I'd like. But if you'd prefer if they went back to their old length then please let me know but we're essentially going to attempt to play up to the end of the next campaign whatever it's going to show us whatever the big event is and then we'll end the episode there but let me know what you think anyway let's see oh i didn't mean to do javelin practice oh the threat of our life is spun okay the arrival of a precious alloy is alloy the arrival of a precious ally has brought great enthusiasm Masinissa is a Numidian tribal leader engaged in a war of secession with Syphax, the current king of his people. In exchange for Rome's support, he swore to help you against Carthage. You remember he fought against you in Hispania. Apparently such trivialities are easily set aside when large concerns are at stake. His superb horsemen will be an invaluable asset. We gained morale. Hooray! I actually meant to work out, not train, but that's fine. Not getting any better. Quickness. Not getting any better. Quickness. Quickness. I mean, that's fine. That's acceptable. I would have preferred endurance, but you can't always get what you want. Success. Threat of a life. Your patrol is chasing a group of unarmed people you've seen from afar. They are probably trying to sneak away from your army with their most valuable possessions. After a while, you stumble upon something unexpected. A Numidian warrior is lying unconscious on the road, bleeding from a nasty cut on his side. He's one of Messinus's men, but his horse is nowhere to be seen. This means there are at least some enemies about. Splitting up your already small group is not an option. If you want to save him, you have to give up the chase and the prospective loot. Save his life, man. As you command, your troops try to stop the bleeding and carry him back to where your army is encamped. Virtue is increased. Your superiors approve of your choice. The friendship of Massinissa and his Numidian faction is of paramount importance for the success of this campaign. Everyone is glad I did this. The scout will recover, although he won't be able to fight from a saddle for a long while. Who cares? We saved his life. Everyone is happy with this. This is good. There's another village. Oh, fuck. I'm begging you to spare their settlement, but your orders to dis... Seminate panic are clear. In a desperate move, they attempt to bribe you with a small valuable's worth one and a hundred denarii. Take the bribe and a few provisions, but spare the village. Okay. How is that? Fucking whatever. Your men are puzzled by your orders, but they trust you enough to forget about this incident. Okay, well, that went well, I guess. That was weird, whatever. We've got everything we need. All right, time to go home. I think we've got it in the bag. My boys and girls don't even worry about it. We did it. Everyone likes me. Your mental attributes have not improved. Come on, man. This game is taking the piss. Aren't getting better. Endurance. I'll take that. And then the rest of this is going to be skill training, okay? You've been besieging Utica for some time, but the city is holding out proudly against your vice grip. Meanwhile, your spies report that a relief army left Carthage to the southeast. It is led by an old acquaintance of yours. Has Drupal Gizko, the general you defeated near Illipa two years ago. He's not alone. King Syphax of Numidia joined him with reinforcements. Their combined armies form an imposing force, even larger than yours. Oh boy. Uh, Scipio commands commands to abandon the siege. You retreat to a fortified camp on an easy to fend prom promontory. They wouldn't dare to attack you when you have the high ground. Uh, well, Anakin did. During today's sparring session, Lucius Junius is willing to bet five denarii against anyone who is inclined to challenge him. He's a standard bearer and an exceptional swordsman. Well, I tried this before and it didn't work. I'm gonna go on the defensive. I failed. Ow, I lost health. We'll see, just see how this goes. I should have got some more mental stats, but the game didn't want to give it to me. Negotiations are taking place between Scipio and the enemy leaders. Some believe the proconsul is trying to buy time. Few would admit it, but the combined armies of Hasdrubal and Syphax could be more than you can handle. An uneasy truce descends while both forces are encamped in the vicinity of Utica. Your patrol meets a party of Numidian foot soldiers, not friendly Numidians. These are Syphax's men. Tensions rise very quickly, but there is still a truce in place. You are leading the patrol. Make your men stand down. No way. The situation never gets out of hand. Virtue has increased and everyone's happy with me. Gradually, you get tired of trading insults and go your separate ways. A couple of days later, a delegation is preparing to leave for Zyphax's camp. You notice your Kenturian is dressed like the servants that accompanied the envoys. Uh, actually, you recognize several Kenturians from other manipoles, all in the same disguise. You can't help but wonder what they are up to. Several days pass as embassies keep visiting the Numidian camp. The negotiations never amount to anything concrete. Interesting. Scipio summons a council of war. After sunset, his tribunes lead you out of Castra Cornelia. You are a large fortified encampment. The night is well underway when you are in the vicinity of the enemy positions. Part of the whole force is assigned to Lelius, Scipio's second in command. He and Massinissa will lead the attack on the Midian camp, setting fire to the easily flammable huts. You'll partake in the assault on the other camp where the Carthaginians are based. 
You don't have to wait long before the first fires appear and quickly spread throughout the large camp of Zyfax. Even from here, you can perceive the disaster befalling your enemies. Many Carthaginians leave their camp and hurry towards their allies' position, probably not realising what is really happening. You intercept them. They are unarmed and disarrayed. The butchery begins. The first wave is soon obliterated. Now the gates are left un unattended and you break into the camp. Before you can set fire to the nearby cabins, a bunch of spearmen tries to bring you to a halt. You fall upon them like hungry wolves. You know, I've got a pretty good chance of hitting him with my javelin, but it's not high enough, so I'm not going to bother. We are... We outnumber this guy. And are way tougher than him. Oh, boy. Oh, it's time for a slaughter, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Have him. Oh, come on. Don't even play these video games with me. That guy up there is doing great, and I'm doing terribly. Why are me and the bottom one so terrible, and this guy is the best? There we go. Okay, well, I'm gonna try again. Go on, hit him. There we go. Nice, I did a good. I'm thinking pretty much one more hit, and he's done. Oh, he missed. Now's the time to kill him. Got him. Good start, good start. Respite failed, but that's fine. The chance wasn't very high anyway. Another levy soldier, I'm confident. You guys are not good at this. Fortunately, you don't need to be. I can pick up the slack. Yeah. Good. He failed to recover. Now hit him. Oh my god. Guys, seriously. What what the hell is this? I used to be the shit one and now it's everyone else. Let's see if we can wound him. No, his armor absorbed it. Ah. Yes, now's the time. Now's the time. Go for his leg. Yeah. Oh yeah. And he's dead. Good show, boys. Good show. Well done. The survivors disperse. You set fire to the building close at hand and pull out and wait for the inevitable. Fuck yeah, that went well. Granted, those were shared, but we still killed two of them. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Flames are devouring the enemy base in front of you. A large crowd attempts to leave through the gates at once. Many are crushed by their own companions. Of those who get through, some are taken prisoner and countless others are put to the sword. You intercept a small clutch of people trying to sneak away in the shadows. There are five men. Their faces and clothes are covered in soot and blood. They are scared and unwilling to fight. There's nothing special about them. Centurion barks an order, sealing the Carthaginians' fate. They are outnumbered and quickly dispatched. The slaughter goes on for many hours. At dawn, you contemplate the full extent of the catastrophe you have inflicted upon your enemies. It was significant. A huge combined force that threatened to take you down is no more. Their losses number in the tens of thousands. God. Hasdrubal and Syfax are not among the prisoners. At first they are believed to have died in the fires, but soon you are hearing persistent rumours claiming that they are both still alive. Many spoils are salvaged from the ruins of the camps. As always, everyone gets his share. I got 120 denarii. You've dealt a severe blow to the Carthage. To the Carthage! The end of the war is getting near. I mean, that was so short. That was really short. I feel like we should do one more, you know? I've been recording for 16 minutes, and that takes into account, like, pre-recording setup and all that. That's not long enough. Nah, we gotta do a bit more, I think. It's fine. We can do this. We can do this. Ambush. You've walked straight into an ambush. Stones are falling. My defense was super good. My guys have been wounded, though. Aha, village. Ambush again! Party of light infantry assails you. One of their missiles. Well, my armor was really good. Okay, it's time for a fight then. Jesus. All right, this is a bit more than I was expecting. He missed. Recover. Oh my god, recover, please. Thank you. This is going nowhere slowly. Faint him. Oh, come on. I said faint him. That's better. Now hit him. There we go. Hit him again. Good. Good. He recovered. Faint him. Good. Go for it. Yeah. And he missed, so go for it again. Oh, God, why? Go for a normal faint. Oh, fuck off. These are all above 50%. It's not as if I'm trying to get fucking greedy here. There we go. Paint him. There we go. Now hit him again. Good. He's recover trying to recover, but it's not working. Good. Hit him again. Yes, he's dead. 
Good shit. I got nine denarii and nothing. Okay. Enemy assault wavers against the disciplined stand of your troops. They're thrown into disarray and they fuck off. Most are able to get away. But we killed some. That's good. I'm happy with that. Some of these peasants keep throwing nervous glances at you. There's something amiss with this settlement. You give order to close ranks just moments before armed men emerge from the surrounding dwellings. It's another ambush. Missiles is frustrated by your shield wall. They close in, but you won't be an easy prey. Okay, fucking hell. We just a lot of fighting this time around. We'll try a quick feint this time. Oh, come on. How did that not succeed? Quick feint. Uh, I guess that's technically a success, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's a success for sure. Hit him again. Hit him again. Ah, uh, now hit him. Oh, come on. It makes me angry. And now he can recover. Quick faint. I really, I just don't see it when it's like... 60% chance to succeed, and it just doesn't happen for multiple turns in a row. He missed, but he got another turn because the game just decided on this occasion that he got another turn. And he actually hit me, great. Fucking, I swear to God, just faint him. There we go. Now hit him. Good. Hit him again. Good. Hit him again. There we go, he's dead. We got another nine denarii and still no items. You've pushed them back, the settlement is all yours. We're gonna burn it to the fucking ground, tell you what, fucking wankers. You barely managed to catch a small fish. Well, we got supplies, so fuck it, I guess. Come on. There we go. Time to go home. I went through the mountain, didn't mean to do that. I can't remember where our camp- there it is, found it. There we go, completed your mission, everyone's happy. And charisma is increased, good, good. Was I running? I was running. I'm not getting any better. I did suffer some very minor wounds, but apparently that means time is over. Oh, it was a lot shorter this time, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Good thing I got my, like, thing- my thing down before things got- oh. That caught me off guard. I wasn't looking because it was so early. I was like, I don't need to keep an eye on it. It's fine. Uh. As Drupal has managed to convince Syfax not to give up on the war effort, with a display of enviable tenacity, he has also raised another levy of soldiers. More interestingly, they were joined by 4,000 battle-seasoned Caltebarian mercenaries. Great. Once again, Scipio leads you away from the city of Utica, leaving enough forces behind to maintain the ongoing siege. You come in sight of the enemy within days. You make camp on a hill a few miles from theirs. Save for the Celtiberian Scutari, you are not worried about what is to come. Nobody doubts that at the end of the upcoming battle, Carthage will be one step co closer to capitulation. Which means they have something up their sleeve. We sound way too confident on that front, and that means there's going to be problems. For sure. You can volunteer to scout the surrounding area if you wish. Fuck no, I'm terrible at it. You're enjoying your dinner of bread, lentils, and veal. Even after all these years, meals have a unique flavor the day before a battle. Helvius is asking if anyone wants to bet on House Drupal's fate. I'm gonna bet that he'll be captured. Helvius takes the bet and leaves soon after. His guard duty is about to commence. It's time to get some rest. The next day, I don't know the history of Hasdrubal Barker, so I don't know if he gets captured here or anything. <laughs> the next day, a large skirmish flares up when Scipio leads the cavalry to Harry, the Punics, and their allies. At first, you are holding the ground in support of the more mobile forces, but chaos ensues as the enemy launches a counter-strike. Light infantry is harassing your left flank, pinning you down. Ahead to your right, you notice a group of retreating Velites. They are in serious trouble. One of them lies on the ground, a grievous leg wound preventing him from fleeing. Two of his companions are desperately trying to hold off five Numidian foot soldiers. Velites, and I already knew this, are skirmishers, poorly equipped for hand-to-hand -hand combat. They are about to succumb. You know what? I'm a pretty tasty defensive fighter. I'm durable. I've got good armor. We're going to save our friends. You cover the short distance as fast as you can. The Numidians shift their attention to you. I've just got... Fuck, there's three veterans? I didn't know they were veterans. Okay. That's not good. I'm dead. This is it. I've, I'm dead. I'm dead. It's the end. It's the end for me. Okay, we can attack that veteran. 
Go him. He missed. He missed. We'll go for you, I suppose. Come on. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! Ow! Alright, defensive recovery. Thank Christ, that's something. I just need to hold them off until our ally gets away. Recover again, I know that will lower morale if I stay in defensive, but it seems necessary right now, don't you think? Okay, now we'll have to go normal and recover once more. Good. He missed. He hit, but I survived it. Oof. Oof. Back to defensive recovery, can we survive? I know morale's going down because I keep defending, but... Alright, that'll do. I think I'm going to have to make a move. I'm going to have to hit you. There we go, that's good. He missed. If he's still in bad condition, go for him. If we could kill one, that would make a difference. It's just risky, but I'm going to go aggressive for this to ensure the hit. Yes. It wasn't a very good hit, but it was a hit. Okay, they've all recovered. We'll go normal and recover, because I know we'll get back up to full. Oh, this was a poor idea. Why did I think this was a good idea? What part of my brain was like, yeah, man. Fight multiple veterans by yourself. The chances are pretty low. Go for a faint. That's something. Come on, give it a try. Yes. He missed. He recovered. Try again? Yes, we could kill one. He's recovered now, so we're not going to gun for him. Not unless he throws himself off balance again. This is the rule. This is the hard and fast rule we got to commit to. Attack him. Yes. He's left himself open, but he just uh, fainted me, so let's recover. There we go. He recovered. That's fine. I'm not going for that kill unless the sit unless it's like just wide open like go now kill him otherwise not bothering go for a I uh, didn't actually want to faint him but it doesn't actually matter really because it didn't work go recover I hope the game doesn't expect me to actually kill all three If we could land that hit and get rid of one of them, that would make such a huge difference. No! No! I can't believe he missed. Defensive recovery, let's go. He recovered, that's fine. But he missed. We'll have to go to normal recovery. Failed. I'm not noticing, like, uh, the situation will shift soon. Defensive recovery. Ooh, we're gonna have to play the long game, maybe. He recovered. I think for that middle one, go for a faint. There we go, that's something. Yeah, he recovered it anyway. They fainted me. He succeeded in his recovery. He failed at his faint. He missed my leg. He missed my leg. Okay, oh fuck. Oh, this is not good. Oh god, okay. Defensive recovery. Nope. I'm not getting a chance to do anything right now, and this fight doesn't look like it's gonna end anytime. So they've just removed all of my stance. And I failed to recover. I might be about to die. I can't believe he missed. He hit. He missed. He hit. He hit. Recover. Thank fuck. This fight doesn't look like it's about to end, though. Stop fainting me. My helmet saved me. We're gonna have to stay in defensive stance until our stance is back up to full. It's the only way. Oh, stop it. No. I'm dead.
That was so stupid of me. That was so fucking stupid of me. Why did I do that? God damn it. Fuck. God. Ugh. But that's it. I said this was the last one and I meant it. This is the end. This is the final character that I'm going to do on the channel. <sighs> Piss. God damn, I shouldn't have. I figured it would be like... Because it, all it said was some light inf They're fighting fi like five light infantrymen. And I was like, they're not going to throw five of me at the same time. But I figured it would be like Libyan light infantrymen or something. I didn't think it would be veterans, first of all. Second of all, I figured it would be a hold them off until, you know, the situation changes. But then we got to like round 30 or something, so... I think it actually expected me to kill them. But I probably shouldn't have gone into that expecting like, a, oh, I've just got to hold them off for a while. No, if I'm going to commit to something like that, I should be prepared to fight or to win or die, basically. But it's all moot now. Foreman the Fifth is dead. And that's the end of this series for now. Maybe sometime in the future, once I've beaten this game in my own time, I'll actually do a full career. But as it stands, that's it. That's all I'm doing for the channel. I have... I know no one was really interested in this, except maybe Kenny, bless your heart, if you are watching this. But, I don't know, I love this game. I don't want to milk it, though. So, I'll just, I'll, I'll eagerly play this in my own time. I've been looking forward to this for a while, but I also really enjoyed recording it, which is why I wouldn't have sabotaged myself intentionally. This was just a bad choice, but... I've commiserated enough. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see this again, then let me know, and I'll totally make it happen. But unless that is a thing, I won't I won't subject you guys to this anymore. This will be the last one. But, yeah, same as before. Thank you so much for watching, and whatever happens next time, and it probably won't be this, I hope I see you there. Toodles. Goodbye. Foreman the Fifth was actually our top guy. Not bad. Good job, man.